Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To make advanced changes to a selected shape, you can use the Format Shape Task Pane. You can access the Format Shape Task Pane by clicking the Format Shape Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Shape Styles button group on the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. The options that you can change for your selected shape are grouped by category within this task pane. You can see the categories shown as icons at the top of the task pane. Also note that there are separate shape options and text options that are available for text containing shapes. You can click either title at the top of the format shape task pane to set these category attributes independently. To use the task pane, click one of the category icons shown at the top of the task pane and then make any changes to the available settings shown in the collapsible and expandable category groupings that appear below the category icons. You can click the titles of the category groupings to collapse and expand the settings shown within each. You can then change any settings shown in the expanded groupings. The changes that you make are applied immediately as they are set, so you may need to use the undo button to reset your shape after experimenting with the settings if you do not like them. Note that many of the settings available within the Format Shape Task Pane are identical to the settings that are available when formatting pictures using the Format Pictures Task Pane if you select the Shape Options title at the very top of the Format Shape Task Pane. So for brevity's sake, we will not review the same settings we've already covered again. You should review the lessons Fill in Line Settings, Effects Settings, and Layout and Properties settings in Chapter 13 to familiarize yourself with the standard formatting options, such as Fill, that are available. This time, however, you will be able to use the Layout and Properties category if you select a text-containing shape, such as Word Art or a text box. So we will now examine the settings found within the Text Box category grouping in the Layout and Properties category under the Shape Options title when formatting selected shapes that contain text. You can click the Text Box category grouping to expand it if needed and display the options that you have for text boxes. You can use the Vertical Alignment dropdown to select a desired vertical alignment for text in your selected shape. You can use the Text Direction dropdown to select a desired text direction within the selected shape. If you check the Do Not Rotate Text checkbox, then the text within the shape will not rotate even if the shape itself is rotated in the document. You can check the Resize Shape to Fit Text checkbox to resize the border of the shape to fit any text entered. You can then set the internal margins of the selected text containing shape. You can use the spinner boxes to set the left margin, right margin, top margin, and bottom margin within the object. If you want the text to wrap within the shape when it encounters the right edge of the shape, check the Wrap Text and Shape checkbox. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.